Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Dangerous Critters of the Old West. Let's check it out. In many episodes, we talk about the dangers that our pioneers had to face. Not all of them were from other humans. Those settlers had to learn to exist with our wildlife in the West, and many had never experienced the likes of some of these creatures. And in the, and in the bottom of the crevices, there was pumas. Folks traveling West could buy guidebooks that taught a lot of survival skills. In the 1863 Prairie Traveler, Captain Randolph Marcy lays out many methods of dealing with creatures. These are pumas with claws and foam coming out of these pumas mouths and the, and the railroad men are going, Woo! Look at those pumas down there! One that we are familiar with is wearing thick wool socks and tall boots to protect from striking snakes. Sure, many of these folks had snakes in their own countries, but our venomous rattlesnakes were new to them. Marcy also talks about remedies for snake bites that describe sucking out the poison or adding hartshorn, which is powdered deer antler, to the wound. The snake! Oh my god! The snake! The snake! The rattler! I'm gonna die! Hold on, hold on! Somebody suck out the poison, please! Oh. I ain't doing that. You're gonna die. Wolves were particularly damaging to livestock as well as man. When traveling west, it was smart to have mules, which would not only alert the camp of wolves, but also fight them. As I researched the wolf attacks in the Old West, one stood out as particularly jaw-dropping. A rabid wolf entered Fort Larned, Kansas in 1868 and attacked four people and a dog. The animal was finally dispatched, saving many lives. However, a corporal and the dog died. Coyotes, also pronounced coyotes, present a danger to livestock. Like most of these beasts, they're pretty wary of humans unless backed into a corner. Like wolves, coyotes are pack animals and utilize their strength in numbers. In the 19th century, the city cemetery in Tucson had issues with packs of coyotes digging up bodies and scattering remains. There are also some instances where folks underestimated them. Speaking of the Southwest, we have javelina. Javelina are in the peccary family and resemble pigs. They have sharp tusks and scavenge around like raccoons. If threatened, they will attack and those tusks will give you a nasty wound. Most of the attacks you hear about are from us provoking or threatening these animals. Bears and mountain lions don't necessarily go looking for people to kill, but they are territorial and if you should happen to get into an altercation with one, your survival rate is not terrific. We've talked about bear attacks and how devastating they can be. Well, mountain lions can leap 40 feet and can weigh up to 150 pounds. Those of us with cats as house pets no doubt bear the marks from their razor sharp claws. Ow, 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 sh Think what a 150 pound cougar could do. In 1895, a 15-year-old boy and his dog were attacked by one, and the boy roped it and managed to strangle it with that rope. Apparently, the beast was nine feet long. In the cat family, we have other contenders. The bobcat, or lynx, is another one not to mess with. Not as big as the panthers, but dangerous nonetheless. Interestingly, these animals that went kinda nuts and attacked no doubt had rabies, which was known as hydrophobia. David Rogers, an Old West historian, says that a human contracting it wasn't necessarily a death sentence. There were a lot of different homemade remedies back in the day, but Louis Pasteur came out with a clinical treatment in 1885. Thanks for the info, David. I love you, David. Now, these are just some of the animals that the Old Westians had to contend with. There are plenty more mammals, insects, and reptiles we can talk about in the future. No, no, not that reptile. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always... Santee! Santee, there's wolves. There's wolves yeah. coming. There's a whole pack of them coming. Okay, okay. Up. Call Liam Neeson. There's... Okay, just go around the corner. Oh, right behind the wheel. Okay. Be quiet. Bump her down. Okay. Bump her down.
I don't see any wolves. I checked, there's no wolves out there. There's not one. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. And, and we'll see you on down the trail. Oh, we're That's doing okay. the whole thing? Yeah, we're doing the whole oh. thing. <laughs> well, you said the ending. You're right. I screwed up the ending. But... <laughs> okay, let's try one.